Hi guys and welcome to my first ever studio tour. I know you guys might have seen um, some little snippets from Instagram um, but I've never done a full blown tour of my studio slash office so I thought I would share it with you today. Um, I got a new camera yesterday so I'm filming on that now and I'm hoping it will help me improve my content you know make more videos for you guys tutorials a day in the life that kind of thing so yes um let's get going with the studio tour so i'm going to start off with um my shelves up here i've got obviously a collection of some evil candles not sponsored wish it was um, these are my candles that I designed for Olivia's Haven, um, this is not all of them, this is just the full ones that I've got left yet to burn, um, but yes we worked on this collection of candles um, last year and this year and yeah they're amazing, definitely go and have a look if you haven't already. Um, I've got a couple of little books here sketchbooks and then down here is where I keep a lot of my kind of immediate packaging I've got more in another cupboard but I keep most of it here I've got some of my new prints here so the be kind to your mind print and then my fun new greetings cards which are foiled so yeah I'm keeping those over here at the moment this one is kind of I need to kind of get some new things in there. I've got some used up sketchbooks and a diary. Obviously this year kind of went um, to pot, so we don't have many plans in this diary. So it's kind of empty. Um, down here we've got some more packaging, um, kind of, uh, these are the like triangular tubes that I use to post A3 prints. We've got envelopes for Christmas cards, which are all here and ready for you guys, but I haven't launched them yet, but I will soon, I'm just not sure when. And then down here we've got wrapping paper, plastic sleeves, um, business cards which I actually really don't use anymore, printer ink and kind of old, old sketchbooks and original paintings. So yeah, that's my little shelving unit behind my door where I kind of just keep stuff that I need on a daily basis. And then on my wall as you come in, this is where I did this huge painting. I'm not sure my landlord will be too thrilled, but um, I'll paint over it before I leave. Yes, so just to kind of make it a bit more fun in here. This is my little cheese plant, not little, fairly large cheese plant. I've got some prints on the walls from um, some of my favourite illustrators. This one here. I've got a couple of mine up as well. This one over here. And then we have a little fish tank. So in here we've got planners, more packaging, fish food, <laughs> very glamorous, and pens and paints and extra stuff up there. Um, however, the other side is not as organised and we're not going to go in there. And then along this wall I have got two of my favourite ever prints. These are by my really good friend Elsa, I will leave her linked below so you can go and have a look at her work. Yes, this is kind of like my print wall. I've got some of mine up. I can't, sometimes I like to put some of mine up to see what they're going to look like in other people's houses. Um, and I do change them around all the time. This is a little shelf that I've got up with this really cute little flower bouquet. And then this is probably the thing I get asked about the most in my entire job it's what printer I use so this is the Epsom XP 960 it prints A3 and it is what I print all of my prints on 
um, I bought it a couple of years ago and it's honestly probably the main thing that kind of like leveled up my business. Um, recently I've actually got this which is a guillotine, um, it's one of those ones that you like slice down. Um, this is the brand if anyone is wondering. But yeah it's really good just for like trimming paper and making things look a little bit neater. So yes, those two things are a massive help. And then this is a fairly recent purchase. This is my Cricut machine. Um, I've got the Explore Air 2 and this is a sticker that I made on it. But yes, I use this to make all of my stickers. I'm going to be using it to make my gift tags for Christmas. But yeah, it is such a fun toy and it's basically like a very clever cutting machine. Um, I do plan to show you guys how I use this in future videos. But yes, that is that. Is that. And then this is my paper stock. Um, I like to keep quite stocked up because I hate running out of paper if I've got prints like that people have ordered. So I like to keep a nice stock of paper there. And then over here I like to just keep some supplies that I use on a more re like regular basis. So I've got some Neo Colour pastels. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about those. I've got some pens in here. These are the Ecoline brush pens. And then I've also got these which are a more um, recent find for me. I don't know if that's going to focus. They are the Zig Writer dual ended pens but they're great as well. I've got all my paint brushes in there and then my Caran d'Ache Luminance which I also don't think is going to focus in that one. So yeah this is just where I kind of keep things that I need more regularly. Um, my paint palette, I've got a little plant, cactus, notebooks over there and then coming around onto my desk I have got these which are <laughs> all full of paint. I've got these little drawers which I kind of keep stickers that I've made um, in little pouches. I keep my bookmarks in here actually. It's my stock of bookmarks and ribbon and then at the bottom are all of my thank you cards which you will get in an order if you order from me. So yes, that is that little bit. And then also I keep over here kind of more art supply things. So I've got some Posca pens, some Winsor & Newton um, watercolour pens, these pens which I discovered probably yesterday or the day before which I think are incredible but we will save that for a art materials video. And then I have some little prints above all of that next to my computer. And then I've got my iMac which I use every single day. I've got Etsy up here because I'm just about to pack some orders but yes it is amazing. Um, probably the best thing I've ever bought for my business but yeah it is so good. I've got the 27 inch I think um, but yeah as you can see I'm just going through my Etsy and having a look. I've got my headphones up here because I use them all the time. Um, back here I've got a little light, um, not light box, I mean, it kind of is, it lights up and you can trace through it. I've got my little dried bouquet of flowers from Full Circle Florals. I will also link her down below, they are so beautiful. And then I have got my favourite ever neon candle. Um, this one is Boost Your Energy. It smells amazing and I love to have these on my desk um, to burn in the day. I hope 
you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, I hope it's just given you a little bit of an idea of the kind of things I have in my studio and where I'm working. And I hope that I'm going to be doing more of these so you get to see a bit more of the things I get up to day to day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first ever studio tour. <laughs> it's a bit nerve wracking, but yeah. Um, let me know in the comments. I'm going to link everyone that I've spoke about in this video so you can go and check out their work. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.